The self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, shortly SPAAG, which had lost its priority in the last 30 years in the West, has started to gain importance nowadays. The Korkut, one of the latest examples in this area, is among Turkey's leading defense projects. It is an interesting system with its different features from other modern SPAAGs. As a weapon detective, we're investigating the Korkut and what it offers. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. To be notified of our new video, please click the bell button. We need to look carefully at what the Korkut means for Turkey. 20-30 years ago, Turkey didn't have an efficient defense industry. It had to acquire the weapon systems developed by other countries for their own special requirements. However, the situation was causing multiple handicaps. Foreign suppliers naturally were developing systems according to the demands of their own countries. These systems often didn't answer fully to Turkey's geographical conditions as well as the security needs. Also, if we talk about the SPAG, the Western countries and defense industry companies have lost interest in the system for a while. However, the Turkish armed forces needed it. The momentum gained by the Turkish defense industry over the past few decades has solved these problems. Now, Turkey can design and produce many different types of weapon systems which meets its own special needs. This is very important for modern army. In this perspective, the Korkut is one of the most important symbols of the new Turkish armed forces. With the end of the Cold War, while the West lost interest in SPAG, Turkey has decided to replace its M42s with a modern system. In the project, getting technology transfer or license production rights from a foreign country was planned. In the meanwhile, the Turkish Armed Forces integrated the 12.7mm M55 quad mount anti-aircraft guns on some M113 as an interim solution. Due to economic reasons, this SPAAG program progressed slowly. In the 2000s, thanks to the rapid growth of its defense industry's capabilities, Turkey decided to develop a purely indigenous vehicle. In the same years, the Turkish Armed Forces were considering to modernize 35mm GDF towed anti-aircraft guns. This project was also consisting of developing a fire control system and 35mm modern airburst ammunition with programmable fuse. In 2010, Aselsan became the main contractor of all these programs. This was a wise decision. The modernized 35mm towed anti-aircraft gun and the SPAG had many common subsystems like optical sensors, radar, the fire control system, servo controller and electronics. Also, both systems were capable of firing the new 35mm airburst ammunition called Atom. So the development cost of the Korkut was considerably low. In 2015, Aselsan delivered the prototype of the SPAG to the Turkish Armed Forces for extensive trials. The serial production of the Korkut started in 2016. The system became operational three years later. A typical Korkut air defense battery consists of three SPAGs and a command and control vehicle. The hulls of both vehicles are the ACV-30 track amphibious armored vehicle developed by FNSS. This vehicle looks like an enlarged model of the ACV-15 series, which is a product of the same company. However, this is not true. The ACV-30 has a different road wheel configuration. Actually, this configuration is more similar to that used in the Kaplan series and the MAV. Although there is various information about the ballistic protection level of the vehicle in various sources, Neither Aselsan nor FNSS have officially confirmed any of this information. A turret with 35mm twin barrel gun and onboard sensors have a high weight. Therefore, when looking at other examples in the world, we can easily see that this type of SPAGs has tank chassis, so they are not amphibious. 
But the ACV-30 can also swim while carrying such a heavy turret. This capability makes the Korkut unique in its class. Thus, the SPAG can cross water obstacles with the armored vehicles it accompanies without waiting for setting a bridge. Besides, this feature makes it possible to secure the other side of the river against air attack before the combat engineers start building a bridge. The crew sits inside the hull. The most notable handicap of the Korkut is the commander's lack of weapon control capability. However, this is the choice of the Turkish army. If demanded, Aselsan can easily provide the Korkut with this capability thanks to its open architecture electronics. There are an automatic fire warning and suppression system in the engine and crew compartments. The Korkut, which can operate in CBRN environment, also has an advanced air conditioning system. There are electro-optic detection and tracking systems as well as tracking radar on the remotely controlled turret. The Korkut can engage the target on the move. It is highly effective against targets such as aircraft, helicopters, air-to-ground missiles, cruise missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles, as well as mortar shells and artillery rockets. There is an automatic feeding system in the turret that allows two different types of ammunition to be loaded at the same time and the preferred ammunition to be selected and fired at any time. The vehicle has a three-person crew consisting of a commander, gunner and driver. Yet, many technical specifications of the Korkut have not officially been published. However, there is some information about the base vehicle of the Korkut, the ACV-30, on FNSS's website. The vehicle is 7 meters long and 3.9 meters wide. The total height is over 4 meters. The Korkut, with a combat weight of approximately 30,000 kilograms, can reach a speed of 65 kilometers per hour. The range is 500 kilometers. It can negotiate 0.8 meter vertical steps and 2 meter trenches. The Korkut's 35 millimeter guns can be effective against air targets at a range of 4,000 meters and an altitude of 4,000 meters. The rate of fire is 550 rounds per minute for each barrel. Located at the rear of Korkut's turret, the 3D radar operates in Ku band and can track a target the size of a combat aircraft at a range of 15,000 meters. Another Turkish company, MKEK, works with Aselsan as a subcontractor for production of parts of the 35mm atom air burst ammunition, except fuses. Aselsan's electronic and electromechanical programmable fuse is at the rare part of the rail. The atom is not affected by the 4200 bar pressure that occurred during the firing. It is also resistant to the g-force caused by the very high muzzle velocity. This electromagnetic jamming resistant fuse also transferred the data of the target to the SPAAG during its flight. The atom detonates itself at the determined location by the fire control computer and builds a tungsten pellet wall in a wide area. This feature provides great advantages not only against air targets but also against ground targets. The atom has a maximum range of 12,500 meters. Thanks to its programmable fuse, the ammunition is highly effective against units attacking from crests or foxholes. The Turkish armed forces use the Atalgan pedestal-mounted Stinger system as a self-propelled air defense missile system. Besides, Turkey is currently developing a Hisar-A low-altitude air defense missile system. Therefore, the Turkish armed forces didn't demand the missile launchers on the Korkut. The command control vehicle of the battery has a 3D digital beamforming architecture radar. It can provide a wide range of ascent coverage and ascent resolution together in the close area. This X-band radar can detect and identify an aircraft-sized target at a range of 70,000 meters and track at a distance of 25,000 meters. Turkey plans to use many of the components of the Korkut for other important projects. For example, the ACV-30 will also be the carrier vehicle of Hisar-A low-altitude air defense missile system developed by Aselsan. This choice brings an important logistics advantage in the air defense of the mechanized units of the Turkish land forces. Of course, due to the placement of a different weapon system, 
FNSS almost redesigned the vehicle to meet the new requirements. Besides, Aselsan has also developed the ship-based model of the Korkut. The system called Korkut D at first is now marketed under the name Gökdeniz. Today, many Russian anti-ship missiles like P-800 Onyx flying at supersonic speeds pose a great threat to surface combatants. Even if a close and weapon system, such as the Phalanx, which has an effective range of 1,500 meters, succeeds in destroying a supersonic missile, the Sharapnels may still reach the ship and cause serious damage due to their high speed. The Gökdeniz, which has an effective range of 4,000 meters, eliminates this risk. The system was integrated onto the TCG Sokulu Mehmet Pasha training ship in 2018 and was subjected to extensive trials. Various sources claim that Turkey will equip its TCG Anadolu amphibious assault ship and TF-2000 class frigates with the Gökdeniz. It is also possible to see this close and weapon system on many illustrations prepared for the modernization of the Turkish Navy's Miko 200 class frigates. However, there is no known official order yet. The 35mm naval guns, capable of firing airburst ammunition, has big international market potential as the commonly used 20mm and 30mm close and weapon systems do not have sufficient effectiveness against modern Russian anti-ship missiles. Today, the only system that can compete with the Gökdeniz on the 35mm naval gun market is the Rheinmetall's Millennium. Besides, the 35mm GDMA gun on the Turkish Navy's Doğan, Rüzgar and Yıldız class missile boats is the ship-based model of the towed GDF. However, the company does not offer such a modernization package on its official website. Using the experience gained from the Korkut project, Aselsan also developed the Korhan Remote Control Weapon Station. This turret is designed for armored infantry fighting vehicles and features a gun which is capable of firing 35mm air burst ammunition. The Korkut is indeed one of the stars of the Turkish defense industry. For this reason, it is also mediatic. Moreover, some Turkish newspapers publish some weird news about it. For example, they claim that the Korkut could stop even an atomic bomb. Naturally, the manufacturer and officials denied this false news. However, Ankara couldn't contain itself for using Korkut's popularity. In 2020, Turkey deployed this SPAG to Tripoli to protect some critical facilities. In fact, sending the modernized 35mm anti-aircraft gun for these missions would be a more cost-effective solution. However, this system is not popular. There are reports in some sources that Indonesia and Pakistan are interested in the Korkut. However, these countries do not have an official SPAG procurement program. In today's combat environment, the use of guided air-to-surface missiles and cruise missiles has become widespread. Besides, many terrorist and militia groups can significantly damage modern armies using drones, heavy mortars and artillery rockets. The Korkut is one of the few systems that can answer to this wide range of threats and also accompany mechanized units in the field. In fact, it is unique in its class as it is an amphibious vehicle. Although many countries are developing laser weapons for similar tasks, time is needed for these systems to reach maturity. During this time, the Korkut is a candidate to fill an important gap. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button.